The Northamptonshire Film Archive Trust, located at Wellingborough Museum, started in 1981. It was founded by my late father-in-law, John Earl, who was a keen amateur cinematographer. He bought his first camera to film his children growing up and uh, with a few cartoons and that was that and then one day he found a reel of film outside and took it home and put it on his projector and realized that it was local footage an amateur film uh, that somebody just thrown away and he thought well if that's being thrown away what other good footage is being thrown away because once that's gone it's gone forever so uh, he, he thought about doing something to uh, salvage any other films. Uh, it took him about 50 years to uh, actually get really started to get a group together uh, to try and save and collect and preserve uh, um, Sydney film. My father-in-law used to say it's the closest you can get to time travel. Um, you can look in a book and see some pictures but on a film, you've actually got the people moving, you've got the transport going by, you can see what people are wearing, how they interact with the, what's going on around them. So it's, it's an important documentation. Well, he used to go around to car boot sales and sort of cine fairs and, and pick up things, but um, we do public presentations and make an appeal out to the audience. It's surprising in a way that archive for film now is only 10 years old because everything has gone digital. And so now anything which is on celluloid, um, people just don't know what it is. So it doesn't have to be 100. We've got film that goes back to 1904. But if you've got film on film, the old celluloid, uh, dating from about 2008, prior to that, it's, it's, it's no archive. It's, it's just valuable. Do you restore footage? We can do to a certain extent. If it comes in and it's in a damaged state, we've got equipment and materials that we can sort of try and repair it. And if it's really bad, it, it's once it's gone, then it can fade over time and colour film can turn red because of the dyes that they used. But we do our best to preserve it and keep it into the state so it doesn't degenerate any further. Well, we're now members of the Northamptonshire Heritage Forum. Um, we're trying to get the name out further with this Daventry, being interested, Daventry Council are hoping to build a new cinema uh, in the town centre and want us to show archive footage there and to show people how important it is to keep this alive. So um, we, we, anything that comes from Northamptonshire, we would like in our collection and, and keep it going and uh, let people in a hundred years time, like we're looking at a hundred years back now, maybe in a hundred years time it might be on a different format, but it's, it'll be archive and good valuable research material for somebody in a, in a hundred years time. As well as film reels, they also have a wide range of cameras and projectors. We're going to start off uh, going back to 1951. As well as collecting and restoring footage, they also have public shows every month.